New at 10, families looking for alternatives to burial and cremation now have another option in central Alabama. It's called aquamation. Funeral homes started using the technique just over a decade ago. The first and only funeral home to do so in our state is Miller Funeral Home and Crematory and Aquamation Center in Oxford. ABC 3340's Megan Scarano went there to see how it all works. And Megan, what are some of the reasons someone might choose aquamation over the more traditional options? Brenda, at Miller Funeral Home Aquamation, it's a cheaper, eco-friendlier, and gentler option for families. They started offering it in 2021, and now they do more aquamations than flame cremations. Well, this is pretty quiet. It just sounds like a washing machine. It's just very soft. Levi Gamble hears the sound of aquamation more so than not when he comes into work. The softer sound compared to flame cremation is a testament to the difference in technique. They don't want their loved one um, to go through the flame um, or the fire, so to speak. They just say, you know, they, they can't stand the thought of their loved one being burned. The thought of a gentler process isn't the only reason someone could choose aquamation. A more eco-friendly process and it is less expensive than our flame cremation. It all happens in this yes. machine. The water circulates with a turbine. It circulates over the deceased and that's what breaks down all the soft tissue. After about 12 hours, with help from potassium and sodium, families can receive 20% more ashes. This here in my right hand is aquamated remains. It's a more white powdery substance. It's more fine like beach at the sand. Um, and then this here is a more coarse, gray, ashy substance, and this is someone that's been uh, flame cremated. And it's not just the families who could get more from aquamation, it's the environment. It does not burn off any fossil fuels into the atmosphere, um, any mercury fillings and things like that, it does not burn those up. And then also uh, everything is 100% recyclable. Farmers can use the water left behind when it's done as fertilizer. During the process, it breaks down all the uh, the tissue, the, the fats, the lipids, the sugars. Everything is broke down, and it's just very rich. Miller Funeral Home doesn't offer that right now, but it's happening across the country. For the time being, they're happy to offer an alternative for those looking for something different. And it's just something that we wanted to do to offer our families. That way they have a choice. It took off very well, and we uh, have seen a big increase in it. And that solution used during aquamation is 5% alkali. That's made up of the sodium and potassium, and the other 95% is water. So, Megan, you said it costs less than cremation. How much less? Brenda, the difference of cost is in hundreds of dollars. It costs around $2,300 for traditional cremation, while aquamation starts at almost $1,800. Megan Scarano reporting tonight. Thank you.